What we got today? Rolling Stone, Ow, Forbes. What the hell is this? Wrong. <laughs> Mr. LaBamba, the Romney Ryan campaign thanks you for your continuing support. In close, you will find your bumper sticker. Thanks again for your contribution to the campaign. Sincere. Oh my God. <laughs> George, I should open that door. We need to talk about something. Tarnation, Nation, what is all the fuss about? I will tell you what the fuss is about. What is this? This? Why, Mama, this is mail. Perhaps you've heard of it. I will slap you sideways if you size me again. Why, Mama, you opened my mail. That is a federal offense. I'll tell you a federal offense. Mr. LaBampa, the Romney Ryan campaign thanks you for your continued support. And closed, you will find your bumper sticker. Thanks again for your contribution to the campaign. So you are telling me that you can't afford to give me any money toward your keep, but you can afford to send your loose change to this millionaire asswipe. Is that your story? Mama, it wasn't loose change. You know Eduardo sent me a check to help me get back on my feet. I was just, you know, doing my duty as an American citizen. Either I am hallucinating or you are on your feet already. I did not see one red cent of that check you got from Eduardo. And where are you planning on putting this bumper sticker on your bicycle? You know I don't have a bike. You wouldn't get me one, remember? Yeah, well you don't have a car neither and you sent away for a bumper sticker. If you think you are sticking that thing on my trailer door, you got another thing coming. Mama, there's just something about those silvery sideburns that just gets to me. And that magic underwear, I'm dying to find out what that looks like. Let's see how you feel about them silver sideburns and magic underwear when Obama rips them off and chews them up and spits them out in the debate tonight. Jordash, hurry on up. That debate's about to commence. All right, Mama. Hey, grab me some of them cheesy curls and a beer on your way in. <sighs> Jordash, hurry up. I think I heard Mitt Romney just say he's got fire big bird. Oh, Mama, don't be so dramatic. You tell that powder-ass Mormon, Barack. You tell that uppity. Oh, no, you do not say that word in my house. <sighs> Mama, I was just going to say uppity. Nut job? Yeah, I believe that would pick shit pancakes. When did you become such a racist? I am not racist. I just, you know, think the world is overpopulated with the wrong kind of people. I'm just proud of my white roots. The only white roots you are going to see around here are the ones on my head when I forget my touch-up with my lady Claro. And let me tell you this, honey boo-boo, you are half Mexican, so put that in your sombrero and smoke it. Oh, mama. Stop lying. It's so unbecoming. You think I'm lying? Why do you think your last name's La Bamba? <laughs> well, I thought you was just messing with me because, you know, you love that movie with that, what's his name, that hunky Lou Diamond Phillips. Honey, if I was just messing with you, your last name would be La Cucaracha. <laughs> well, I am not taking any more of this abuse from you. You go ahead if you want to and vote for that communist son of a so-and-so. Me, I'm going with the Mormon. Yeah, well, tomorrow, Mormon, you're getting up and you're going down to the unemployment office to get yourself a J-O-B. Now, I don't care if it's a long career in underwater basket weaving. You hear me? Jordan! To me, you little queer. Don't you call me queer, yo hag. Go, go with it. I'm not gonna say nigger. No, you're not. Okay, you're not gonna say nigger. I won't. I won't. Like I want that. you to inter 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 interrupt me on mm, because that's when it makes sense. How do I look? How do I look? I can't see. We both look fabulous. Okay.